Good morning, viewers, and we are here now with Mr. Brad. He's the MPP. He's from the Mississauga Streetsville area. So just a few words with him, a little chat, and then we move around with the other people. Good morning, Brad. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm okay, thank you very much. It's great to see the kind of support you are having here. How does it feel? Well, this is very exciting, and I think we have a great opportunity to turn this province around with a new government. I'm proud to support Ontario PC candidates uh, throughout the city of Mississauga. Uh, we need a new team, uh, and uh, I'm proud to be here with other volunteers to say, let's get the job done on June the 12th. Awesome. Uh, yes, I know I've been hearing, and everybody has been hearing, there are agendas from the Conservatives, from the Liberals, and the other parties. Something really strong you really want to tell the people that this is where I definitely feel that the Conservatives are, this is where you want to move, and this is what we plan ahead, and you're strong and really passionate about it. Well, I think the Ontario PC Party has put forward a very bold plan to create a million new jobs, to reduce government spending, to get back to balanced budgets. That's exactly the leadership that we've shown in Ottawa, quite frankly. The Conservative Party of Canada under the leadership of Prime Minister Stephen Harper. Next year, we will balance our federal budget. Next year, under Kathleen Wynne, the deficit in this province will go up. That is the wrong direction. Every other province is getting their spending under control. Every other province is reducing deficits. Every other province is trying to maintain or lower taxes. Not Ontario under this provincial Liberal government. That is the wrong direction. That hurts the rest of the country. When Tim Hudak becomes the Premier of this province, this province will be back on track again. Definitely, Brad, one thing which keeps coming up again and again is for the common man. You know, like when we look as a common man, if you look at a common man, he just wants to know how is he going to benefit. Yeah, at the end, they are the MPPs and they are the other electorates. They go on with their work and they go on in their lives. But for the common man, there are just a few burning issues. It could be your hydro bills, your electricity bills, and a few taxes here and there. So these are the main concerning things. Uh, do you think immediately when, uh, hopefully, if conservatives doesn't get into power, do you really think these are the points which would be really looked into ASA? Well, I would certainly hope so, and I, and I trust Tim Hudak and his team to do that. Hydro bills are too high in this province. I go and meet businesses in this riding. They tell me the number one concern they have is the cost of electricity in running their businesses, especially uh, manufacturers. They're going to leave Ontario and go somewhere else if we don't get a control over this issue. And I'm confident that Premier Tim Hudak will get this under control. I think this is something a big kind of a relief and everybody is listening to you on a strong message like this and definitely I feel it's going to make a deep, deep impact on all of them because this is something which is need of the hour and we really, really want to take it forward. Uh, the last thing, I mean, I would just say a few words for everybody before we take your leave and join the other supporters. Well, listen, I want to thank everyone for coming out today. I want to thank them very much for supporting my friend Nina Tangri. We need volunteers every single day knocking on doors, putting up signs, getting the message across that it is time for change in Ontario, and we will make that happen on June the 12th. Thank you so much. This is the time for change, and let's give this a change. Thank you so much. There's not much left for me to say. Um, thank you. You are the backbone of this Mississauga Streets full campaign. You are the ones that are going to make it happen. I will be out door to door, every house. I plan on knocking on every single door before this campaign's over. It's been a great campaign. I have to admit, I've got probably the best campaign team in the whole province. I really they're dedicated, they're passionate. They're out with me every day. They're here in the office taking care of everything. They're answering the phone calls. They're really, really making this happen. And each and every one of you, some of you have made, been donors. Some of you have been knocking on doors with me. Some of you have just uh, come out and said, whatever we can do, we will do it. And that's how we're going to win this campaign. We're really going to make sure Tim Hudak is our premier after June 12th. We're going to make sure we have a very strong PC government here that's going to be a majority so we can get things done. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to make sure that the communities are heard. <coughs> right now we have a terrible problem where we have a leader on the, in the Liberal government, Kathleen Wynne, who says, I like this company. I'm going to give them $10 million. Oh, I think this company should get $30 million. Oh, $700 million for that one because, yeah, they're going to give us some money back. But you know what? 
It's not about which company is best and which company is not. What's important is we have across the board 30% corporate tax reduction so right. all companies can benefit, so we can bring more companies to Ontario, so more people are working because that's what's more important than anything else. Yeah. Yeah. And if you, any of you watched the Rogers debate, just about three days ago, I, I was canvassing and I knocked on the door of one lady. She opened the door, she saw my brochure, and she just started crying. And, and I was like, what did I do? I haven't even said hello yet. So, and uh, she said, you know what? I just lost my job. So I said, well, did you work for Unilever? She says, yeah. 28 years for one oh. company. And I was just told, I'm going to be gone in two years. That's one of hundreds of stories that we are hearing, that Todd is hearing, and Brad and Bob across this province. 28 years with one company, I'm too young to get my pension, I'm too old to do something else. What is she going to do? She's probably in her mid-50s. She's got a family to feed, she's got a husband that can't work, and this is one of hundreds of stories. What are we going to do about it? Do we say, oh, that's okay, you want to close down, you can leave? No! We are going to make sure Ontario is the economic engine of this country again. We're going to make sure that we once again say to companies, we're open for business. We want you to come here. We want you to be part of Ontario. This is a great place to raise your family. This is a great place to do business. And we have the skill set. We have the skill set from the young generation right up to the seniors. We have the skill set that really want to work and get out there and be part of this great province again. And I'm not going to say much more because you've heard a lot of me today. Uh, we are going to go canvassing for those of you ready to, ready to go with me. We're going to go right out after this. Um, please, please, if you haven't done already, fill out the volunteer form because it does uh, help us stay in contact with you. Let us know if we're having something happening. And, um, you know, when you're let us know when you're available because we'd really like to, to be able to follow up with you. And um, all I'm going to say at the end is on June 12th on E-Day, and we're all going to be here, and we're all going to be screaming and yelling, and this is going to be it. We will win Mississauga Streets full. We are going to turn this whole province blue. And, you know, I'd like to thank Todd. I mean, he's come a long way to be with us today. And, uh, he does have his own writing that he has to canvass him, but he's just been so phenomenal. He goes right across the whole province to be with people like me, to encourage people like me to, to be involved and to run. And, and I really do appreciate. Thanks, Bob and Brad, for, for being here and always being just a phenomenal support for me and um, just mentors for me. I learn so much from these people that they, they, they keep me, they keep it real. They tell me what's happening. They tell me what's going on, what the questions that are coming in and uh, what I should be aware of. <coughs> and um, it's a learning process every day. I'm sure they're still learning every day from the people in the community. And uh, so please, if there's something that you're not sure about, if there's something on our platform that you saw, you know, let me just clarify that. Just tell me, because that's what we're here for. We're here to, to represent you. We are your humble public servants. We are here to make sure that when you work and you pay your tax dollars, that we will be responsible to send that, spend that money responsibly because that's our job. It's not to say, hey, I like that guy and I'm going to give him a lot of money. No, it's about all of you and to make sure that your tax dollars are spent wisely. We've got to have, continue to have the best health care. We're going to make sure our education system improves drastically. We're going to make sure our kids are ready to compete with all the other kids around the world not just in Mississauga. So thank you once again for coming out. Thank you to TV1 for coming out and, uh, and uh, taping this for us as well. And thanks to each and every one of you because you're all very, very, very important for us. Thank you. Thank you.